Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm making the first video on unit number four. Last video introduction I have made on unit number four that is uh, account receivable management and accounts payable management. So in the introduction part, I've explained you the topics covered in this unit number four. The first topic is regarding the concept of account receivable and account payable. Secondly, maintaining the bill details, maintaining the bill details. That is the second topic. The third topic it is regarding the types of references. Fourth topic, stock report, summary report. And lastly, changing the financial year. These five topics I explained you that these are the topics which we have to cover up in this unit number four. Now this is the first video on this detailed video on this unit. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the concept, the meaning of account receivable and account payable as per the accounting software tally. And secondly, what are the advantages of maintaining the bill details, maintaining the bill details. What are the advantages? That's two topics I'm going to cover up in this video. So watch the video till the end. Now, before starting this video, I expect my viewers to get, take a screenshot of the points which are written on the board. Then I'll explain in detail regarding the concept of account receivable and accounts payable. Huh. So this question is frequently asked in examination, what are accounts receivable and accounts payable as per the tally ERP 9. So explain about account receivable and account payable with reference to tally accounting software. Now, first of all, already in the last video also, I have explained you account rece receivable meaning the amount due from customers for the uh, for the sale of goods or services provided to them on credit a business will make credit sales when the goods are sold on credit the amount is due from the customers and this amount due from customers are called account receivable so specifically we can say like this the account receivable are the outstanding amount which a company or trader has to receive it is the outstanding amount which a business, which a company or trader has to receive from whom it has to be received from their customers or debtors. They are also called debtors. And after supplying the goods or services on credit. So first of all, a business has sold the goods or provided the services on credit and the amount due from customers those are called account receivable now account receivable is an asset to the company it is to be received so that's why this account receivable will be shown in the balance sheet on asset side this is the explanation about account receivable now account to payable is opposite account payable are the amount owed by the business or the trader to the persons, to the supplier or vendors. The amount which a business owes to the suppliers, to the vendors for purchases made on credit, for, purchase, for purchasing the goods or services on credit. Just like a business will sell the goods on credit, similarly a business will purchase the goods on credit. Goods are sold to the customers, whereas goods are purchased from the suppliers or vendors. So simply the amount owed by a company or a trader to the suppliers, to the vendors for the goods or services purchased on credit. This is called accounts payable. Specifically, we can say these are considered uh, accounts payable are outstanding amount accounts payable 
are the outstanding amount which a company or a trader owes. Owes means have to pay to their suppliers or vendors after purchasing the goods or services on credit. A company, a trader has purchased the goods or services on credit and the amount is due, payable, outstanding to the suppliers, to the vendor. That is called accounts payable. Accounts payable is a liability. That's why it should be taken in the balance sheet on liability side, accounts payable. Now simply account receivable is an asset. It will be taken, it will be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Accounts payable is a liability. So that's why it should be taken on the liability side of the balance sheet. This is the brief explanation, general meaning of the term account receivable and account payable. Now I will explain you in this accounting software tally how it will how it will be shown represented. Now from the perspective of tally accounting software because we are studying computerized accounting subject. So everything should be studied from the perspective of the accounting software. So here the accounting software is tally. So from the perspective of accounting software tally, account receivable and account payable are considered as open account with respect to bill reference. With respect to bill reference. So from the perspective, from the tally perspective point of view, account receivable and account payable both are open accounts. What are open accounts? Now I will explain you with respect to bill reference. So again, I'll explain you about bill reference. So two terms you have to remember, open account and bill reference. That means the account receivable and accounts payable are considered as open account. Point to be remembered. Both are considered as open account with respect to bill reference. So first of all, what is open account? So open account means the account which is still open. The account which is still open, not yet closed at the time of closing the accounts. When we are preparing the financial statements at the end of the year, at the end of the year when financial statements are prepared, the accounts are open. That means still the balances are pending from the debtors and creditors, from the customers and suppliers. So the account which is still open, not yet closed due to some receivables or payables, balances of debtors and creditors is known as open account. At the time of preparing financial statements, some balances are pending from the receivables from, to the payables, from the customers and to the suppliers. That's why it is called open account. The pending balances of the debtors and creditors are considered as specific transaction in open account. So we will consider this not we will consider but accounting package, the tally will consider, the tally will consider that the closing balances from the customers or the closing balances to the supplier that is for a transaction particular transaction that is the balance pending now however there are different types of business transactions with open balance amount in case of multiple business deals see the closing balance from a customer for example we have sold to customer for different invoices for different invoices, different amounts are there. The total amount due at the end of the year is suppose 10,000 rupees. But this 10,000 rupees does not mean that only for one invoice. We have multiple business deals and the total amount due from multiple business deals is $10,000. So this package will assume that this 10,000 rupees is for a particular transaction. Particular transaction. Now, thus for maintaining such open pending balances, open account has to be created. Because the balance relate to so many business deals. So this accounting package, this tally package will treat that, that close pending closing balance is related to an open account. 
a new account is created that is open account this open account means the closing balances is treated as one single account now following are the reasons for creating open account why this open account is created what is the purpose to prevent disputes there should not be any dispute that the amount due from customers may have some disputes to remove the disputes to prevent the disputes open account is created secondly to maintain full details of the transactions when we refer the open account we can be able to get the complete details of all the transactions next one to charge uh, to pay on time that means we must get the money from the customers on time there should not be any delay in receiving the amount lastly to charge penalty or interest for payment that are delayed sometimes the customer will make delay in making the payment so already some arrangement some agreement is there that the business will charge some interest or the business will charge some penalty for late payment so for the for that purpose open account is created so these are the reasons why open account is created now the lastly in this question is bill reference what is this bill reference it's a unique the unique identity number used for linking all transaction of a deal for linking all transactions of a deal a unique identity number is used so a unique identity number is used to link all transactions of a deal is referred to as bill reference and it is used to link all transaction chronologically chronologically means according to time that means according to time we are linking <clears throat> all the transactions and to calculate balance due that is receivables or payables again the reference number against each reference number we calculate what is the total total amount due from each of the customer total amount due to each of the supplier so a bill reference will be used it's a unique number which is allotted for every receivable and for every payable now a bill reference may contain the following particulars what are the particulars to be shown for every bill reference the first is invoice number secondly order number thirdly contract number these are the details which will be disclosed by the bill reference so what i have explained in this video regarding the concept of account receivable and account payable and what is open account and what is bill reference very frequently in examination this question will be asked regarding account receivable and account payable the next question in this video i am going to explain is about the advantages of uh, advantages of maintaining bills maintaining bill bill wise details maintaining bill wise details what are the advantages many advantages the question is what is account receivable and write the advantages of maintaining maintaining bill wise details what is account receivable already i have explained you here account receivable is the amount due from customers for the goods sold on credit that is account receivable again i am not writing here then what are the advantages of bill wise details bill wise details what are the advantages in tally erp we can get bill wise details of all the invoices so what are the advantages the first it helps to manage the outstanding reports of debtors and creditors the first advantage of bill wise details is we can it helps to manage the outstanding because see here the amount due from customers is an asset it has to be managed it has to be controlled otherwise irrecoverable debt bad debts will arise the business cannot be able to recover the amount from the customers so that's why there is a necessity to manage the account receivable and manage the account payable secondly it helps in recording the transaction of bills receivable and bills payable the bills may be received from account receivable the bills has to be paid on accounts payable the bill receivable and bills payable can be managed 
if we keep bill wise details next one it helps in maintaining age wise analysis one aging schedule is the concept so it's a schedule which classify all receivables and payables according to age age means according to time we have sold the goods to customer on different dates some customer we have sold the goods five months back still amount is not received some customers we have sold the goods for uh, four months back some customer three month back so we make a schedule analyzing the ages of all the customers by making this age schedule aging schedule we can be able to find out the quality of receivables and the quality of payables quality in the sense if the amount is prolonged for a long period then it is doubtful of recovery it is doubtful of recovery for example we have sold the goods to a customer nearly one year back he is not paying the amount to some customers we have sold the goods for more than eight months back still not so as the time period is more the recovery chances are less so aging schedule is prepared that is the one of the advantage of maintaining this bill wise details we can be able to prepare the aging schedule next one it helps in enhancing the speed by enabling bill wise details in tally erp9 enhancing or accelerating the inflow of cash from receivables from receivables this can be done if we have bill wise details the next one it helps to find the invoice with the accurate reference number with accurate reference reference number we can be able to find out the details of all the invoices next one it helps to examine group wise outstanding summary of account receivable and account payable group wise summaries can be made we can make group wise summary of account receivable and account payable if we have age wise details bill wise details next is it helps to cross check the ledger account of debtors and creditors at invoice level as a result managers can easily verify the pending bills it helps to cross check the amount uh, the amount which is due from different customers and the managers can be able to manage very easily the pending bills lastly it helps to maintain ledger balances of sundry debtors and sundry creditors we can be able to maintain the balances of all sundry debtors and sundry creditors if we keep this bill wise details so these are some of the advantages of bill wise details so in this video i have explained you about the concept of account receivable and account payable and what are the advantages of bill wise details inshallah the next topic will take up in the next video